Hello everyone, uh, in this tutorial we will st start from uh, what we left uh, last time. Uh, we simulated the raft foundation and the plate element on a sand soil layer and we found out that the displacement or, or the settlement from the uh, load we had uh, it was almost 5 centimeters. That's why we uh, agreed that according to some uh, international codes that this kind of displacement is uh, high so we need to use uh, more uh, or a different uh, foundation which is bile foundation in order to improve this model so to account for pile foundation we will close here and we will go back to our structure in our structure here we will start to create a line element so we will start to add a bile with depths of uh, 15 meter with diameter of 80 centimeters and uh, we will make the spacing between the piles 3d which will be uh, 3d uh, for 80 meters it will be 2.4 meter so and I will leave this is like a 10 meter uh, displacement a, a 10 uh, a 10 meter so this is a 10 meter uh, the, uh, uh, raft uh, or this is a quarter of the raft so I will consider a spacing uh, between um, as I said uh, 3D which is 3 times the diameter of the pile and 2D diameter of the pile usually the, uh, we use uh, the, display, the spacing between the piles from 2D up to 5 or 6D and this is depend on many criteria in general we, uh, we uh, uh, like to have a large spacing between the bile uh, when the soil is clay to have uh, like uh, a space uh, to develop friction between the bile and the soil since the bile in the, uh, the clay uh, layers is friction bile while when we are in uh, considering uh, uh, a bearing bile in sand so we account more for the bearing so we can decrease the spacing up to uh, 2d in this model uh, uh, so we can create the arching effect which we can talk about this in other tutorial but now we will consider as a spacing between the bile in this uh, model as 2.5 d and the diameter of the bile is 0.8 meter which means the spacing between the bile will be 2 meters and I will uh, leave 1 meter uh, 1 meter uh, spacing between uh, the bile so that leaves me here this is the edge of the bile and this is 1 meter by 1 meter so so this is the first point and we can add here uh, the other like if we look down here we see this is the uh, coordinates of the first uh, pile so we can see that uh, 1 8 0 so we can see that it's gonna be 1 9 and the uh, like the length of the pile will be um, uh, we can make it 20 meters and I say enter sorry it's minus uh, 20 so I'm gonna go back again we can jump to create here uh, create an embedded beam which simulates a pile so again it's gonna be one and 9 and minus 20 and this is this will be our bile so we can see our bile so if I select our soil and I went here to show or custom and I say transparency will be 30% so now we can see our bile here so in order to create uh, this pile I will go here to select the pile so from select I'm choosing select embedded beam so 
it will be like this so I select my uh, element and I go here to array and I choose from the shape of the array to be in x y direction since this is x and y direction I'm saying I have a 10 meter uh, by uh, 10 meter uh, dimension raft in two directions that me uh, with two meter spacing between the pile that gives me five piles in each direction with two meter and five with two in y direction and I say okay as we can see here it developed in this direction so I say control Z and I go back to array and I say XY direction again XY direction again I say 5 and 5 and N minus 2 so in 2 the in 2 and in minus in y direction it will be minus so it's gonna be minus 2 here and I say okay as we can see we easily created our pile so we didn't create a pile yet so we can go here to show material and we can go here to embedded beam and we can create new and we say this is pile and here we can start to add the material to be uh, concrete 2.1 E7 and this is gonna be gamma uh, concrete 2.24 uh, and the beam type will be uh, predefined as we see and the predefined beam it's gonna be massive circular beam we can use it as tube or square beam uh, and the diameter will be 0 0.8 meter and we can add uh, a dynamic properties here for the skin friction since we are talking about pile uh, I will choose 100 um, four or two hundred for the shaft at the uh, as a start and at the end it will be five hundred this value we can calculate it from a statical equation this is the maximum values and I choose this all point uh, 10 e3 and we say okay and we say okay I go here to select all embedded beam and I say here assign again select all embedded beams and we say hide again select all embedded beams and we say here choose <laughs> embedded beam and we go to select the material to be piled now we will go to mesh and we will go to create mesh again and I say ok so my meshing are created we can view our mesh again from continue we can look at our mesh as we can see we have no problem here we can close and we go to jump to our stage of construction and we jump to here and we select embedded beam at the same time so if I uh, I said custom 30% and now I can see that I already added my piles here here there is no piles there is nothing here we added piles here we already added the embedded beam and the loose and everything now we can start to run our model uh, and we say calculate and we say calculate and we wait until the model is run and we start to compare between the different cases when we included just bile and when we 
uh, uh, sorry raft and when we included the while now the run is done and we can see it's all green we have no problem so we can start to see our results here so we can see here the displacement is uh, has decreased to three millimeter so it tremendously decreased and in order to decrease uh, the displacement we can increase the diameter of the pile or decrease the spacing between the pile or increasing them according to the interference of the stresses so we doesn't we don't increase the stresses here we start to show the deformation here as we can see we can see here like we'll select from here we go here and we select embedded beam and we say select and we can hide the soil from here and pressing shift and enter we get all our piles so we can go here and we select the normal force here so we can see the normal force here or the is 105 and here is 83 and we can see the distribution of the stresses on the uh, on the pile is not equal and we can see that most of the stresses are at the edges here as we can see and here is 91 we can change the view of the stresses we can also show here the total displacement values we can see the moment on the pile M2 this is the value of the moment like a small moment at the connection between the pile and the raft and the raft and if we went back here and we choose this and we go back to the result and I say choose this raft and I see here the moment as we can see here there is a tremendous difference in the moment if we start to create structure force curve or you can take just a section cut here like it was circular before I think we can just revise the other tutorial and we can see the difference and this is in the other direction we can see the effect of the pile here like the difference between the moment between positive and negative and at the spacing at the, at the places of the pile it's negative and between the piles it's positive it's really obvious here and while I uh, made some distribution in the moment which uh, allow for uh, le uh, like uh, we can decrease the thickness of the raft so now we can see the effect of the boil on the distribution of the stresses and the moment and decreasing the displacement or the settlement on the uh, by a foundation uh, by a raft foundation uh, I will stop this tutorial at this point and in the next tutorial we can talk about uh, uh, simulation of the raft in uh, using my DAS GTS in X uh, to compare between the results. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.